Hello, kids. Get ready because it's English time. What can you see in this picture? Yes, these are medals. When do you usually see medals? Correct. During contest and during Recognition Day. You receive medals during Recognition Day if you did a great job in school. Today, we will read a story about Recognition Day. The title of the story is, Will There Be a Recognition Day? It is almost the end of the school year in July. The grade 2 pupils are excited to hear about the best academic performers in class. Mark and Giovanni are talking about it over the phone since they are not allowed to go to school because their municipality is locked down due to COVID-19 pandemic. Hello? This is Giovanni. May I speak with Mark? Hello, Giovanni. This is Mark speaking. How are you? Are you excited for this coming vacation? Yes, but I'm more excited with my awards for this school year. For sure, my mama and papa will be proud of me. I am sure you will get the highest award in the class. You are the brightest and the most diligent pupil. Thank you, but let us wait for our advisor's announcement. I am pretty sure you will get the second rank in the class. I know you are studious. I hope so, but I am a bit worried about our present situation. I still do not know if we still be allowed to go back to school for our recognition day. I have the same feeling, Giovanni. My mom and dad told me about it. My mama and papa told me to keep praying for everyone. We can also encourage our classmates to join us in prayer and remind them to always follow the health protocols. Oh, sure. We can do that. Thanks, Mark. Bye for now, Mark, and I will call you again tomorrow. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Giovanni, for the call. Bye. The next day, Mark and Giovanni's parents received an email informing them about the postponement of their recognition day. Did you listen well to our story? Now let us have comprehension check. Number one, when did the story happen? A. In July, B. In summer of 2020, C. During a recognition day. D. During class time. That's right. The story happened in July. Number two. Who are the main characters in the story? A. Grade 2 class and their teacher. B. Giovanni and his parents. C. Mark and his parents. Or D, Mark and Giovanni. Correct. Letter D, Mark and Giovanni. Number three. What were Mark and Giovanni worried about? A, class. B, awards. C, present situation. D, parents. Correct. Mark and Giovanni worried about the present situation. Number four, what did Mark and Giovanni's parents receive from their school? A, email, B, package, C, text message, or D, snail mail? Correct, it's letter A. They receive an email. Number five, why did Giovanni say that Mark will get the highest award in their class? 
A, because Mark is prayerful. B, because Mark is friendly. C, because Mark is diligent. Or letter D, because Mark is helpful. Correct letter C, because Mark is diligent. Good job, kids! Now, did you notice the underlined words in the story? Here are the underlined words from the story. Let us read them aloud. I will read first, then follow after me. Is that clear? Okay. And. Glass. Not. With. Pretty. Not. Year. Best. Go. Get. No. Call. Are. Are. Under. Bright. Mom. Time. Here. Phone. May. Wait. Told. Great job! You know, kids, these words are examples of basic sight words. And you will learn more about that today. Our lesson for today is Module 2, Matching Pictures with Their Sight Words. What are sight words? Sight words are also called high-frequency words because they appear regularly in your reading and writing. These are commonly used words that young children like you should learn and remember. Because of their high frequency, you should be able to recognize, read, and understand them immediately upon seeing them. Through familiarization of sight words, you can confidently read a sentence or a paragraph. Other terms used to describe sight words include service words and instant words because you can recognize them instantly. They are also called snap words. These are words that students will see most often in their reading. Now, here are other examples of sight words. Read them aloud. Repeat after me, okay? All. Swam. Not. Ate. Came. Good. Knew. Been. Saw, soon, am, near, care, be, did, has, no, pretty, say, that. Are, hard, walk, black, do, he, now, ran, she, there, at, blocks, door, Ban. It. Into. On. Tan. Fan. Can. This. See. Bed. Let. 
home in man after old then candle hot sleep call set hit more or under help cold work are wait bet many went want to pull him table best beat find kind which purse back mom more after buy hard wish leave any also keep nice find should got upon yours word been high once may people over goes right another funny give great rain found made sit great job kids now let us learn more sight words through answering activities here is the first one match the underlined sight word in each sentence in column a with its corresponding picture in column B. Now I will give you 10 seconds or 15 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Okay. You may write your answer on your paper or on, in the comment box. You may now start. Are you done? Okay, number one. Top is my favorite toy. What is your answer? Okay, letter B. Number two. I love the sound of the church bell. Where is the church bell or the bell? Okay, that's correct. Letter D. Number three. The baby duck is swimming in the pond. Where is the picture of duck? Letter E. Number four. My friend has a fish in the jar. Letter A. Number five, the pillow is more comfortable than the couch. Okay, it's letter C. Wow, so far you're doing a good job. Now, here is the second activity. Study the picture in each box and read aloud the three sight words below it. 
Then and circle the correct word that matches with the picture. Here is the first one. Clip, scissors, or thongs. Correct. Scissors. How about this? Were, when, or will. Correct, will. Now here is the third picture. Sue, saw, fall. Very good. The answer is saw. Here is the fourth one. This is a kind of vegetable, right? Squash, square. Squish. Correct. It is a squash. How about the last picture? None, not, hot. Okay, it's not. Here is the third activity. Read each of the following sentences. Look at the underlined words, then match it with the picture below. Write the word below the picture. Let's talk about bicycle. The bees are in the hive. I lost my cap. The flag is hoisted. The blocks are colorful. Okay, number one. What is this? This is a cap. That's right. Number two. Correct. Bicycle. Number three. Okay, these are blocks. Okay, number four is flag. And number five is... Bees. Did you get a high score? High five!